In this short video, I show you how you can use MicroProfile Open Tracing with Jaeger from the CNCF project in combination with Payara Micro. The distributed tracing is an important tool in the services uh, if you use microservice architecture. Because your request can pass many services, it is sometimes very difficult to know why a certain service is um, accessed by the request or why the request is uh, so slow. Uh, what is the service in that case, which is the bottleneck? So for those scenarios, you can use then distributed tracing and it will give you some information why it is happening and um, identify the bottleneck, for example. Microprofile open tracing use the concept of a span where all the information is collected about the microservice and additional information can be put into that span by the developer for debugging purposes, for instance, so that it can de determine why a certain selection is made and why a certain service A is called and not service B as it would be expected for that request. Those spans can be sent to Payara Micro internal call collector itself, um, or you can send them to an external system component like Jaeger. Jaeger can then be used to visualize and analyze those spans via a GUI. So let me show you a demo how you can use those technologies for your applications. So I have created an example where I need a few components. So let's start those up. I have one container with uh, a Jaeger running in it and I have two simple services which are used in this example but are only there to have something in my span in my distributed tracing. So it is a hello world type. It is not very realistic. The first service which receives the call from the user just passes on the information to the second service. But I'm using the microprofile REST client feature functionality for this. This means that I just need to define an interface which describes my remote endpoint. In this case it doesn't have any parameters. I could define kind uh, the required parameters and I can also define the return type. Here it is just a string because it is a hello world type thing. And I can define the method which will be used get, put, post, etc. This interface is then used by the REST client builder to create a proxy. That proxy will be able to call that remote endpoint. The only thing that we need to specify is the location of that endpoint, the URL of that endpoint within our system. Here it is hard coded, but of course you can use microprofile config to retrieve that value, or you can use some kind of discovery mechanism so that you can retrieve the actual value of that endpoint for that service. So once this proxy is created during the initialization of this, of this application scoped um, bean, then we can call that method that we have defined in the interface. And it is not a method call within the same JVM now, but it will call that remote endpoint, that remote service and returns the value from that. The second controller is just returning the word done and it has some wait time in it so that the request takes a little bit more time so that it is better vis visualable in the GUI eh, so that it takes more time so that you see something and that it's not a few milliseconds for a call to be performed. You need to activate the 
distributed tracing within Payara. And you can do this by defining a post boot command, which you supply when you start up the instance. And you define there that the request tracing needs to be enabled. And then, as mentioned, if you do not specify any kind of collector, the Payara micro internal one will be used. And then you can verify the spam information from AS admin commands, for instance. Um, if you are using Payara server for Payara Micro, it is of course easier to send it to an external system like Jaeger. And for that purpose, I am adding here uh, a jar file which contains the interfacing between the Payara methods and the Jaeger client, uh, the Java client, so that the spans can be transferred to that Jaeger instance that I have started. So let's perform now a call to that endpoint. That first endpoint, it will call the second endpoint, and that one returns the word done. So let us look how we can find that span within Jaeger. So I'm starting up the Jaeger UI. I'm finding all traces, all spans, and I see that I have here a span with information as I expect based on the explanation of how the coder works. So the curl command access the first service. So you see the full uh, the full class name, the method name which is um, which is triggered by that by that call. And then you see here some wait time that actually is the initialization of that proxy and then it prepares the call uh, the proxy prepares the call to the second serv service and then we end up at the second service java method and uh, they do something on the service to controller and here it does some just some wait time and then returns the value done to the client again and the curl command in this example. When I perform that call again and have a look at that span, you will see a few differences. Uh, this span now has much less initialization time because uh, that proxy is gen generated, all, all initialization is done, so everything can immediately be processed and passed on to the second service in this case. And also the return is much faster. And if you have something like this in a real world case, then um, it is obvious that the second service is the bottleneck here in the processing of the request. So I showed you very briefly how you can use the Jaeger integration with Payara Micro in this example. So have fun. Bye.